This Week in Dodger History is brought to you by BFF Financial. The solutions are ours, the decisions are yours. The fans are rooting for the Dodgers. And welcome back. We'll see about that. Ron Say, I'm Mike Gary. This day in Dodger history, presented by BFF Financial. On this day, the legend, Mr. Don Sutton, was born. Hall of Fame pitcher, MLB All-Star, 72, 73, 75, 77, ERA leader in 1980, of course, a Dodger as well as a Milwaukee Brewer, born in Alabama and sadly passed away in 2021. So happy birthday up there in the sky to Mr. Don Sutton. A 300-game winner, uh, holds tons of Dodger pitching records. Uh, Some of them have been broken, but that's what they're there for. I never threw out more balls that were headed for his uh, trophy case uh, than Don Sutton. Uh, Sometimes there was a little bit too much pine tar on him. Uh, I couldn't get it off my fingers, but uh, I was able to roll them over to uh, Bill Bueller, who uh, inscribed this one ball. I remember going in one night and I said, what's this one's for? And he says, well, he just passed Big D, Don Drysdale, on the all-time Dodgers strikeout record. So I said, oh, ha, now I know what they're for. But, yeah, uh, but yes, hey, tremendous you know, career. The thing about that, Ron, Don was born the same day, same year as Reggie Smith. Is that right? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, two really, really terrific players, uh, no question. Yeah. I always felt... Uh, I never, never Ted uh, t- told Reggie this, but um, I thought that he was probably the most talented player that I had played with uh, for any real length of time, uh, right. meaning more than just a couple of years. Um, right. Uh, switch hitter, hit third in the lineup, great outfielder, great arm, uh, ran a little bit, but uh, yeah, really, a, really an outstanding player. And and uh, and Don Sutton once again in the Hall of Fame. So anyway, um, yeah. and Don was the winningest pitcher in Dodger history. Uh, not yeah, so, not Drysdale. No, and, yeah, yeah. Dry, uh, Sutton is uh, uh, by far and away. I think he's the only three hundred game winner we had. Uh, total- I don't think we've ever seen another three hundred game winner. Do you? No, I don't think so either. Because the, the, the you know the way that they're doing it now, you know, they're protecting their arms as much as possible and. You know, a pitcher goes into a game today hopeful to go six. Uh, sometimes they don't reach six. Sometimes they go four and a third. They may be winning the game, but they say now that uh, the W is not that important. It's the performance. So a lot of these guys are going to fall short. You know, they're not going to hang along, hang around in a in a one one tie in the seventh inning. Uh, yeah, and it's you interesting know. you bring that up because Drysdale told me one time. He said, "You know, these pitchers today are wimps." <laughs> so they're looking over their shoulder to the bullpen in the fifth and sixth innings, hoping somebody's going to warm up and come in and take their place. <laughs> well, that's about what you were saying. I remember there. hearing guys uh, uh, after we had been out of the game quite a while, and and they were calling uh, uh, a quality start uh, six innings, three earned runs. That's a 450 ERA. Yeah, a 450. John Lowe, who covered the Dodgers at the time when you were playing, he's the guy who put that in. He came up with it. Yeah, well, the guys on our staff that were starting pitchers said, if this guy has a 4-5, he's not going to make our staff. Okay? Right. And I just found it uh, really kind of off that uh, that that would be considered a quality start. Um, you know, well, we were one fortunate. One more note about Sutton, who was a good friend of yours and mine. I figured it up one time. He never pitched a no-hitter, as you know. I think he had five one-hitters. But when you look at his career, Ron, he was in the game, I think, 21 years. If he averaged 15 victories a season for 21 years, he wound up with well over 300 victories. And to me, that was amazing that anybody could have that kind of an average. Well, no question. Uh, you know, you're looking at, uh, you know, I think he, uh, the, the rough number comes in at 324, but um, it, it's in the neighborhood. Uh, but that's a lot of victories. And uh, you know what? Uh, Clayton Kershaw is three, way, three wins away from winning his 200th game. 200th game. And Ooh. so uh, I think uh, Zach Grinke is a couple away, Verlander's a couple away from winning their 200th game. And yeah. uh, these guys are probably all going in the Hall of Fame. 
The last pitcher That's to right. do it to win 300 games was Randy Johnson. There you go. And yeah. uh, I remember Tom Glavin having an opportunity to win 300. And uh, you know, you're, 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 it's going to be. They're going to have to drop, drop the, um, the number uh, for eligibility to the Hall of Fame. I mean, they really do. Uh, it's, it's going to, it's going to have to drop dramatically because uh, uh, there, there's not going to be. You're not going to be playing long enough to accumulate the numbers that would normally get you into the Hall of Fame. You're not going to be around. Right. And I feel sorry for Tommy John. He's a 288. Yes. And and was in baseball for 26 years. Yeah. Nolan Ryan was in for 27. He's the only guy who was in more. But one of the interesting to me statistics in sports is Tommy John's career. Before his operation, he won 124 games. After the operation, he won 164 games. Well, you know, a lot of that, um, a, a lot of that has proven uh, by based on the Tommy John surgery that these guys have actually come back stronger. And uh, I remember seeing one guy that uh, actually had a dramatic increase in his fastball. It was like five miles. So I don't know if it's going to work every single time, but uh, certainly, you know, Doctor Job, Doctor Curlin, you know. There you go. That's the Tommy John surgery, and uh, you know it's uh, it's pretty frequent. And, and, and actually, Bueller, uh, uh, Dodger pitcher Bueller, now who's coming back, has also had a couple of Tommy John surgeries, I believe, at least one from the beginning, at least. But yes, a very common practice. Guys uh, feel very confident about their recovery. But uh, certainly, you know, Tommy John is another guy that uh, you know just missed out. And uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, it doesn't yeah. really take away his career to me. Uh, yeah. You know, just because you're not in the Hall of Fame uh, doesn't mean that, you know, you weren't better than some of those guys that are, you know, right. you look back over a period of 140 I, I some he was years. 46 years old. Yeah. He threw his last pitch in a major league. Yeah. And, and Charlie Huff pitched a long time, too. You know, yeah, Charlie yeah. was in his 40s, yeah. too. So, yeah. There is longevity for those people, and uh, uh, you know, especially a knuckleballer. Uh, there weren't many of those, and the knuckleball doesn't even exist in the game. Yeah. Was Nolan Ryan as tough a pitcher as you ever faced? Uh, it it was style for me more than anything else. Was he the hardest, most consistent, hardest thrower during our period of time? Yes. Were the guns maybe a little slow? Uh, possibly. Um, but uh, Nolan Ryan had a terrific curveball that he fell oh, in I love know. with. That's right. And But he didn't have a cut fastball, and he really didn't have much of a slider. Uh, and why? <laughs> why, when you can throw the ball that hard and, and hit your spots, and that's really the key, the location. Um, and he lived off of it. And, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, you talk about the 27 years that he pitched. Yeah. Throwing as hard as he did, striking out as many people that he did, many players as yeah. he did. Yeah. You know you that strikeout pitchers. That, that Don Sutton and Bob Welch separately said to me in interviews over the years, and this was what they told me, location is more important than velocity. Randy Jones taught you that one. <laughs> he didn't throw hard enough to to break a pane of glass, but he could paint. And uh, but the the last thing about Nolan is is that you know with strikeout pitchers, you know you're throwing a lot of three two counts. There's a lot of foul balls. So you know I don't know right. how many pitches he threw in comparison to somebody else, but there's got to be a few two or three years of careers of pitches thrown <laughs> in his career. That's a, it's a, just amazing. He had a rubber arm and uh, he worked. And stayed in great shape, and you know, kudos to Nolan. Would you rather face Nolan Ryan or James Rodney Richard? Oh, I'd rather face uh, I'd rather face Nolan. Uh, James <laughs> Rodney Richard had a probably about a ninety-two mile an hour slider to go with a ninety-five mile an hour fastball, and he was six seven, eight. six eight, yeah. and uh, very imposing. And it felt like you know when he took that stride that he was actually off the dirt and on the carpet in yeah. front of the mound. And so he's releasing the ball about <laughs> eight feet closer than anybody else uh, with that speed. So it's, it's a, it's a plus hundred, you know, essentially. And, uh, but yeah, he was a very imposing, um, 
I, I didn't mind facing him, but but most guys uh, just you know he pitched very well against our club. And if you well, remember, he won, 13, he won thirteen straight games over the Dodgers. Well, I'm sorry I brought that up. <laughs> but I will tell you that when we went down to the last day, the last at bat in 1977, and yeah. Dusty Baker is in the lineup, and we have James Rodney Richard pitching the last part of that game, uh, and Dusty is trying to become the fourth player to hit 30 home runs in our foursome. And it comes down to the last at, out, last at bat in the last inning of our season, and he's got to face this guy. Now, I don't know if you heard this story before, but Reggie Smith <laughs> had told JR. I just, I just talked to Dusty a few minutes on, the, on my show uh, last week, and he told me that story. But tell it as a funny story. Well, Reggie and, and JR were friends, and so was Dusty. And so uh, we knew it was on the line. And we actually, uh, uh, prematurely, <laughs> if you want to call it that, we took that picture of the foursome before the game played. So we had already said, hey, this is going to happen. And so Reggie goes over to JR and says, Dusty's going to hit a home run off you today, and he's going to be the fourth guy. In there. And they laughed it off. And so now it is this last at bat. And I said, well, you know, hey, this was a great effort. You know, we're, you know, came this close. And Dusty buries one in left field. And now this is, this is, you know, kind of pandemonium will because you know you come to this circumstance we already had the picture taken the picture's never going to get seen if we don't do this along with the other stuff and it just it just rolled into place and so we made history and it was a great time and uh, it was a great story yeah and, and i said dusty i remember you saying that when you found out that reggie had made that <laughs> comment to jr that, that yeah. you told reggie you're going to get me killed yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, uh, it was just, it was a great experience, great, uh, great thing. But, uh, you know what else about that inning? Manny Mota hit a home run off of him, and Glenn Burke hit a home run off of him, oh and Baker God. hit a home run, and Richard won the game six to three. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that that figures. Usually, uh, we we didn't uh, team wise, we didn't uh, do very well. Well, evidenced by the fact that he beat us thirteen times. Thanks for bringing that up, Ross. It makes me feel real bad, I tell you about that. They beat us 13 times in a row. My God, I would have never thought that. Yeah, that's yeah. horrible. He but, went 15 uh, and 4 lifetime with the Dodgers. Yeah, one, yeah. Thanks, one Ross. One year, he won, he won three one to nothing games. Thanks, Ross. Over the Dodgers. Thanks for telling us. Okay. <laughs> So, hey, listen, many, I want to get home, back. How many home runs did you hit off? I didn't hit a home run off, JR. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep it up, Ross. Yeah, you're just a real treat here. Okay. <laughs> All right. 